Uncle? Sir? Call Dobridge. Ask him why it stinks in here. Yes, sir. Chief, Captain wants to know why the air is so bad up here we can hardly breathe. The primary tank is all used up and we can't switch over to the reserve because the air tank crossover is stuck. Chief, I'm getting pretty tired. Now, if we don't get that thing open, a carbon dioxide buildup could wipe out the entire crew. Uh. I don't believe it. Don't believe what? The reserve tank is empty, too. That's what I don't believe. How's it going along down there, Chief? It's not coming along at all, Captain. It's gone. What's gone? The air. What about the reserve tank? That's gone, too. We're 60 feet below the surface in enemy waters, and we're completely out of air? That's not good if you're in a submarine. Could be worse. You could be in a Jeep. <laughs> May I ask why the reserve tank is empty? Beats the <laughs> out of me. Yes, sir, do you want to see me? Boy, does this place stink. Exactly. Isn't it your responsibility to make sure that we have a primary and a secondary air supply? Oh, yes, sir. Primary ran out? Yes. Why? Why did it run out? It never runs out. Why all of a sudden now did it run out? The secondary is also out. I know. <laughs> How do you know? It's just a lucky guess. <laughs> not, that I, not that I know anything. <sighs> no one ever accused you of knowing anything. <laughs> Prepare to surface. Jumpstart my lungs, Captain. We are in the middle of a Japanese sea lane. Jumpstart them below. My brother is 15 years old, and that smells like his room. All right, now, let's get a move on. Purge out the stale air out through the torpedo tubes and take on fresh air. Open out of doors and prepare to blow out one and four. Sir, what is it? <laughs> Sir, the only movie that they've had at Radio City Quonset had for the past four weeks is Charlie Chan at the Olympics. The crew's seen it forwards, backwards, sideways, frontways, slow motion, fast motion. Anyway, the bartender owes me one at the officer's club for setting him up with his beauty. But hey, anyway, that's a story in itself. He gave me these bottles of Indonesian champagne, and he said, keep them in a cool, dry. Blow out torpedo tube one. Which is why I had the reserve air diverted into the tubes, because I wanted to trade it for the legend of Jesse James and the bride of Frankenstein and Bambi. But I never thought that the primary air would run out. Mr. Bender. treated like a hero. After dinner, I'll throw you a parade in the forward torpedo room. I had something else in mind. <laughs> That's it? All right, let's get out of here. Now what about the pilot? He could still be alive. Well, if he is, he's probably in a very bad mood. Captain, it's our responsibility to help him. Fine. Tell him Tokyo is that way. Please. Tell him to swim to Okinawa there and make a right. Captain! 
Do you realize he must have radioed our position? By now, every Japanese ship in this area knows exactly where we are. Now, get below. But you just can't leave him there to drown. We're just leaving him there. Drowning's his decision. Oh, shut up, Bender. I'm not leaving this deck until we pick him up. He is the enemy. But he's still a human being. If women ran this war... There wouldn't be a war. You're probably right. Bender, get a raft over to that plane. Thank you. You're welcome. The spinal cortex pressure has stopped the automatic breathing reflex. Terrific. How can we do artificial respiration if he's got a broken vertebrae? Betty, you know the new mouth-to-mouth -mouth technique, don't you? Idle gossip. Betty, you know it. Come on and do it. before the war, huh? It's a new method of respiration, Bender. You know, I save her life and get a little peck on the cheek. He strafes her entire body and gets a face full of Betty. His breathing reflex is paralyzed, Bender. I'm getting dizzy. This is hard work. What we need is a little teamwork here. Bender, I want you to organize the crew into breathing relays. Breathing relays? Wait a minute. You want me to organize the crew to do what she's doing now? Right. <laughs> well, I think that's gonna prove difficult. I don't care. You just get them to do it. Why me? Because it's all your fault. If you hadn't stored the champagne in the torpedo tubes, we wouldn't have run out of air, which means we wouldn't have had to surface, which means we wouldn't have been shot at, which means the pilot wouldn't have crashed, which means it's all your fault. Anybody ever tell you you'd make a great hanging judge? <laughs> you really think the crew's going to volunteer for this? Look, Bender, in wartime, the volunteer system works best when followed by a direct order. Pinch the nose, lift the chin, exhale into the mouth. Lift your head, inhale, then repeat the process. Now, who wants to try it first? Is this your idea of a party? <laughs> Begging your pardon, ladies. Well, what the do you take us for? Dobridge? The guy's dying. Now, which one of you fellas wants to be first? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? I know, you guys are saying to yourself, if he wants us to do it, why doesn't he do it? Well, my answer to that is, I am going to do it. Although, I, I could complicate this man's condition with my cold. A cold isn't going to hurt him, Mike. It's not? A cold? man's got a broken back. He could sneeze himself to death. We're waiting. All right, all right. Feel a little funny. Maybe I should at least know his name. Mike! Mike? Is that right? Think of that. Two guys out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, one guy from Yokohama, the other guy from Sacramento, with the same name kissing one another. He is dying! <laughs> He's dying. Bender! Huh? Hey, look at there. He's got a permanent bridge. That's it. <laughs> Okay, who's next? <gasps> Count me out. They can bust me to semen deuce and throw me in a break. But I ain't gonna fraternize with the enemy. <laughs> Alvin, what is wrong with you? Dolores, I just can't do that. Why? Because he's a man or because he's Japanese? Because he's a Japanese man. <laughs> you know better than Dobrich. Hey, I know I'm a man. What I got to worry about? Sure, okay, I do it. Thanks, Doflos. Someone makes smart remark they could eat somewhere else. Okay, big man. Let's do it. I'm next. 
how did you get the men to do it? Sir, I believe that if an officer leads, his men will follow. <laughs> Japanese destroy at 2,000 yards of the port bow and closing. I bet you he radioed our position. Good bet. Prepare to dive, free for death charges, sound general quarters. I've got a splash, Captain. Hold on. Captain, all the men have left. How am I supposed to keep this man alive? Lieutenant O'Hara, there's a distinct possibility you may not have to worry about that. Dive! What's our bearing? 227 degrees, sir. Change our heading due north, 360 degrees, all ahead full. Did you say due north, sir? Was my mouth moving when you heard it? Yes, sir. I thought so. <laughs> Due north, that's open sea. We'll run out of fuel before they will. Right. We'll be just like sitting ducks. Well, he must know what he's doing. He's the leader. So was General Custer. <laughs> Down, two, three, exhale, up, two, three, breathe. Down, two, three, exhale. You rang? Mike, look at this. Yeah, uh, what is it? It's an iron lung. It reverses air pressure at regular intervals to make a patient breathe when the muscles fail. So? He needs an iron lung. He also needs some iron lips. He's not going to make it under these conditions, Bender. None of us are going to make it under these conditions. Look, we've been thinking about it. A torpedo tube works on air pressure, right? Why can't Dobridge rig up one of ours to work like this? Show this to Dobridge. Maybe he has an idea what we can do. Ladies, Dobridge is going to do absolutely nothing to save that man's life. Well, no harm in asking. Not for you. What do you mean? Do you see this? When I come back, it may be over here. I don't mean I won't do it like maybe I will do it. I mean I won't do it like I won't do it. Well, what is your problem, Dobrich? I'll tell you what my problem is. Jimmy McIntyre. Huh? Sunday morning, last December. You remember Pearl Harbor. Standing as far away from me as Horner is right now. The only machinist mate in the entire United States Navy that could chug a lug an entire bottle of beer in less than four seconds. Jimmy McIntyre. One minute he was hung over. Next minute he was gone. Not to mention there's still some more of them up there right now trying to kill us. I don't suppose it'd do any good to remind you that we are signatories to the Geneva Convention. My father attended the Shriners Convention in Topeka, stayed at the Briarwood Hotel. Fourteen dollars a day. <laughs> what? <sighs> When he's scared, he rambles. <laughs> also, when he's not scared. As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Bender, I've drawn a line. All right, Dobrich. Let me tell you something. Right now, Betty Wheeler is in sick bay, given everything she's got to pull that Japanese pilot through, because he represents a human life to her, not a shade of skin or a uniform, or a country, but a human life. And not once has she stopped to think about her brother, who was blown to smithereens at Batan. You want me to build one of these things? An iron lung? Yeah, in the torpedo tube. In a torpedo tube. Right. <laughs> Get out of here. Get your door bridge. If you can. With what? My good looks? All right. OK. You know, I really thought you could rise to the challenge of it. But if you can't, you can't. Mm -hmm. Give me that. Oh, Dobridge, I knew we could depend on you. There's too much of this going on in this boat. Well, 
open will we know if it's gonna work? When we tap what's left in the air reserve. The problem is, it might use up the air pressure we need to surface. Hmm. Well, maybe now would be a good time to tell the captain what we're doing. <laughs> he doesn't know yet? Maybe I'd better tell him. Maybe you better tell him. <laughs> you did what? Now, sir, Dobrich says we can still run the iron lung and still might have enough air to surface. Might! Might! Bender, to those of us in the submarine business, the ability to surface means an awful lot. <laughs> Pilot hasn't a prayer if we don't go through with it. How humanitarian can you get? Couldn't we just throw the guy at dinner? <laughs> All right, we'll give it a try. Yeah. But if that lung is too much of a drag to surface, I'll cut the air supply right off. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about what happened. What happened? Yeah, about your brother. What happened to my brother? <laughs> he was killed in Bataan. Wasn't he? Unless they're drafting 15-year-olds. Dobrich, I'm sorry. It's just that I was so desperate. You would say anything to save somebody's life, wouldn't you? Wait a minute. They stopped following us. Well, why would they do that? Uh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> they started in again. No. Those aren't depth charges. Well, sounds like a real good imitation to me. <laughs> Unless I miss my guess, those are the guns of the U.S. battleship Dakota. So that's why you set our course for the open sea. You knew we'd cross the Dakota's patrol area. No, I hope we would. Boy, are you smart. <laughs> Dobridge, we're going up. You mean you hope we're going up? No, I mean we're going up. Blow all tanks. Prepare to surface. Yes, sir. Come on, you miserable. You no good. I don't give a how old you are. They're going back down, Dobridge. We got about a blast and a half left in the tank, sir. Cut off the lung. We need everything we've got. Oh, no. Uh, sir, do you suppose we... Don't argue with me. Yes, sir. Try again. Blow all tanks. Aye, aye, sir. All right. It worked for me. <laughs> Who loves you? Dobrich. Dobrich loves you? Do it! Do it! it looks like... We're okay. Switch on the lock. Love happy ending. Sir, I have a contact. One five zero degrees. Three thousand yards. An unescorted Japanese freighter. And we've got them right in our sights. Oh, that's terrific, sir. We do still have the torpedo on board, don't we? Uh, yes, sir, we do. Good. 
Well, 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 one problem with that, sir, we, we still have a Japanese pilot in the tube. No problem, we'll use the other tube. Won't we, Bender? Sir, there's just one little problem. You see, Dobrich had to use an awful lot of equipment from both tubes to make that iron lung. Are you telling me I have an unescorted enemy freighter taking my sights and I have no way of sinking them? <laughs> yes, sir. Unless, of course, you want to fire the Japanese pilot at him. <laughs> no. I don't want to do that. This is too much spin. Fire the pilot! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>